What's a better fuel source for exercise, carbs or fats? Well, the answer isn't as straightforward as you might think. To get to the bottom of this, let's go through a bit of science. Firstly, the reason we break down fuels is to get a molecule called ATP. This is the energy currency of our body. Secondly, we need to know that our body breaks down both carbs and fats using oxygen, but when oxygen is not available, our body can only produce ATP by breaking down carbohydrates. Lastly, at lower intensity exercise, it's very easy for our body to breathe in enough oxygen to meet our demands. However, as the intensity increases, this gets harder and harder to do. Now, this is where it gets interesting. When we're exercising aerobically, i.e. when we have enough oxygen, we produce 32 molecules of ATP or energy from every molecule of carbohydrate broken down. Fats, however, produce 106 ATP per molecule of fat broken down. That's over three times as much. Now remember, when we exercise anaerobically, i.e. we can't breathe in enough oxygen to meet our demand, we can only break down carbohydrates. And when we break down carbohydrates without enough oxygen, we only produce two molecules of ATP for every molecule of carbs broken down Plus, we produce waste products such as lactic acid and hydrogen. These products contribute to the fatigue that we eventually feel in our muscles when we exercise really hard. So what fuel source is best for you depends on a few things. Factors such as your day-to-day -day diet, your overall training goals, the specific goals of your particular training sessions, and how fit you are overall are all going to be factors that determine which fuel is best for you in that moment. It's definitely not a one size fits all and there's many different approaches you can take to this, but I want to hear your thoughts. What do you feel is best for your training? Do you feel better fueling with carbs or do you feel better fueling with fats? Let me know in the comments below.